Yo guys, if you enjoyed the intro, hit the like button below to help me out. This game here is in D2, D1 MMR against Yasuo mid lane. Um, I take Electrocute with these little precision runes secondary. Since Cutdown got nerfed, I just decided to try these random little runes. And I think Electro is the best against Yasuo. Also, this game I just randomly went full lethality without Eclipse because I'm kind of bored. And I'm just trying stuff. But I do believe Eclipse Rush is currently the best build right now in the game for Zed mid lane. Um, and yeah, we go Teleport Flash because teleport's pretty OP. You can go Ignite Flash as well. It's not too big of a deal. And the game plan against Yasuo mid is usually just to play for your first recall. As you can see, he has Healer Beta. So um, it's best to just play safe, play for the first recall. And once you recall and come back to lane or recall and teleport, I'll probably have, have advantage through tempo, especially because I have TP and he doesn't. So yeah, let's see how this game goes. I walk up to check for the center, or not for the center, for the wraiths. And if you see their ADC or their support, you're going to want to walk away. And instead of standing in that bush, it's better to go for a defensive position because now I'm not going to try to ward since I saw the center um, covering. And now as the lane starts, I don't want to hit the wave because I know he has Halo Blades. He goes E start and I'm like, oh, well, I kind of forgot about that. He also had sudden impact. So yeah. I double forgot about that because he did a bunch of damage. But it's fine because the wave is pushing towards me now. He e through all the minions and it re aggroed onto him when he hits me. So we're just chilling. Q right there, trying to proc Taste of Blood. But then I realized, oh, it's on cooldown. But I hit him anyways. And yeah, this matchup is actually all about getting his passive. So we just wait. We get that minion. He hits level 2. So what you want to do is like you want to get a long range Q on him before he goes in. That's pretty bad by me because it wasn't long range enough. But if you get a long range Q on him and get his passive before he goes in, you can win the trades. Especially after first recall. That's kind of how you just kind of stomp the Yasuo. Um, but you can also just opt to play a bit back, you know, a bit safe. And then right there I'm just trying to thin the wave a bit. I think it's fine the wave being like this because he didn't get a clean crash. And I just wait, realizing that uh, the trades are bad and I can't really do much because the wave is big, but also I can't do much <laughs> against the Aswo. You really can't, especially if he has Hader Blades. Um, it's all about going for first recall. So I kind of entered a bit by contesting too many CS and also that first like initial trade when I entered lane was not good. And now the wave is pushing back towards him, which is not good. I want him to shove these three minions. So I'm going to chill a bit, hoping that he shoves them. And then I walk up to EM to get his passive, and then W backwards like that. That's a combo you can use, W backwards, and then Q, and then auto or W backwards, and then just take the Q. Uh, what I did there, I think, was auto W backwards, Q, W, and then the Qs come up fast. And they usually don't expect it as Yasuo's, as I get my flash forced. <laughs> so I have to flash away because, you know, I'm like, oh, well, Halo Blade's pretty OP and I took too many trades. So in general, I've misplayed very hard in the lane. Luckily, I have Teleport, which is going to help me a lot. So I TP back and now first recall at least has been achieved. <laughs> but yeah, I did not play this well, uh, this lane well. Um, just disrespecting his Halo Blades way too much and not giving him enough control um, or like respect over the lane. But then right here, what I did is I pulled the three minions, or the next wave, a bit down and to the left. So the reason for that is I just want the minions on his side to hit my melee minions uh, cleanly. So if they aggro onto the cannon last, it's best for cannon versus cannon waves. Um, but yeah, he missed the three melee minions, so we take that. Right there, do some weird stuff, but I get his passive. So now I'm actually kind of stronger because I'm level 4. But I still want to be careful, just walk up, get the cannon, E, got his exhaust, which is great. I want to E him again, getting my W back. And I W, but I don't W too far away, because he still has E, and I want him to E under the tower, which he actually does, and uh, he dies, so <laughs> we take the free kill, I guess. Um, I don't know why he E'd onto me, but yeah. I also buffered my Qs onto when he E'd, so something you can do, actually, I guess I'll rewind it. So something you can do against Yasuo in general is when you see his E, you can throw your Qs to where he will land because it's always a fixed position. So right there I threw the Qs straight at where he would like E into, like as he E'd. 
um, at the be very beginning of the yes for animation, you throw your cues when you have a W down already, um, like towards where he'll land, and you pretty much hit the cues all the time. You can use that in a lot of different ways. So if you W backwards when he E's through the minions to trade with you, and he doesn't have passive, um, so you can like throw your W back as soon as you see his first part of his animation, and then throw the cues as well at the same time, or as soon as possible. And it's kind of just like a reaction time thing. Um, and yeah, that's kind of how you win the matchup, provided you hit your Q first, your long range Q to get his passive, and then you take trades. Um, but yeah, that's the early game against Yasuo. So now I'm coming back to lane. I have a pickaxe, double long sword, and boots. So I'm really, really strong. I get all of these CS. I'm level six to level five. So I want to start fishing for a fight. I ping missing and I ping bot lane a bit. But then he's there, I was like, oh, okay. I missed the Q, which is really, really bad. Cause now I think I woke up and I E. Which is fine, because then I just E and wait for the passive. And then I W onto him like that, WQW. Holding my Q or my ult for his um, tornado. And then I ult onto him, auto E. And I was like, unsure if I would survive when I did this. I was like, uh, I'll probably survive. And then I just did it and I survived. I'm like, okay, yeah. completely calculated. Um, but yeah, we kill him again. And then I woke up to take the plating because I see that E is bot lane. If you don't see the jungler, then you should recall in that position. So I take the plating and also the next wave so that I can get a good base uh, in terms of tempo. Whenever you take platings, you usually want to take another wave just to keep things in a nice rhythm, let's say. Now I'm coming back to lane again. Um, I'm pinging on my way, but I don't want the Lee Sin to go in, so I'm pinging him away. Uh, and then he just, he ward hops into the tornado, all the Yasuo predicted. Whatever happened, that was pretty troll, because I would have gotten all the minions anyways. Um, but either way, it's fine. Uh, Yasuo is low, so I decided to just push and hope for the best. Um, and I know I want to do a W backwards combo, because it's unlikely that I can kill him, really. But then I see he's standing still, so I'm like, oh, that's a bit annoying, because maybe I could kill him. But I just use W backwards, and you can trade like that. So you auto E, uh, place a W backwards, auto E, and then take the... W and Q or do a QW so the Q comes out faster but yeah you do you don't really want to do that combo if you don't know where the jungler is but if you're feeling confident and just like bored then I guess you can <laughs> but um, yeah kind of forced him out there he's 1 HP so he has to base and now I get a plating as well I end up greeting for this wave though because I needed my item and I needed one more wave <laughs> so it was a very rookie mistake just extremely greedy because now it's quite dangerous. My top laner died to Yi and he's going to come down as well. And he's right there. So I just sweep thinking it's warded, which it was. Take the ward and I want to E him to get his passive. And then wait a bit, run away. W, Q when he stands still to tornado. And I ult onto his tornado. Hit everything really. Uh, he has exhaust. I Q again. This is pretty good. Even though Yi is here, maybe I can still kill him. I see Yi going that way. So I'm just thinking, well, I can go here. W in, auto, wait for the passive, auto again with E and Profane, or Tiamat. And right there I press tab to see if Yi has a ward, he doesn't, so I probably could have just walked like down instead of being with, like so scared. But yeah, I just W in, push the wave. Because if he has a ward, maybe he can ward and Q me um, over the ward. But yeah, easy peasy. As I'm walking to lane here, I want to show you guys something which is quite good. So... Once you have Profane, you can kind of use the AoE from the auto attack to get his passive. Right here, I auto, and I got his passive, so it's pretty good. And I just WQW onto him, auto E Profane, knowing he took a tower shot. On just his pure self, you know, his passive absorbed no damage because I waited it out. Um, so yeah, you can use Profane against him like that. And then against Yi, if you W somewhere, and then you walk to the other way, and then you take your W at the end of his Q, then you could maybe survive as well. I think I live with 1 HP. Um, I run away like this, and I'm like, please W come up, and I take, the du take my W over the wall, E him to slow him, he was thinking to flash I think, and then he gets killed and shut down, so that's pretty good, but yeah, the main thing is Profane, you can auto the minion, and it AoEs onto the Yasuo, and against Yi, if you W and then you run the other way, it can be very effective, because then he either has to Q, um, he has to Q straight away, or he has to like predict your W, like your W2. And it's just, it's very good, I think, because then you can get away. And right here, I just ult onto him, just go all in. And then you can go sideways on the Yasuo Qs, that's another thing I haven't really touched on. 
is so right here if I re rewind it a tiny bit right here when he ults me I know he's going to Q straight onto my shadow so I take the shadow but then I walk downwards you can walk like side to side like that like down and up against Yasuo when he's like melee range uh, same thing with Yon when they melee range you just walk you can walk side to side between your auto attacks and when you don't have anything to do um, and you probably dodge his Q it's like more often than not so don't be afraid to try and juke the Qs like that when your auto attack is on cooldown so nothing much really happens after that. I take the mid tower, I push some waves. Yasuo goes top and Riven is also top. This is where I make a mistake. I was pretty sure that Renekton would win 1v2 anyways. But I just wanted kills. So it's a pretty big mistake. I just run top. Um, and he does end up winning 1v2. So now I'm just like, ah, oh, well, I really shouldn't be here. <laughs> At least we kill the Riven. Although I only got an assist. And the, the reason why it's a mistake is because he was on dragon and he kills my team in my like my jungle bot. And I could have just gone bot instead and it probably would be way better. So yeah, they all die, which is fine. Such is life. At least they don't tank for Yi, so he dies as well. And as I run down bot lane, I'm thinking they're going to go for the tower with Ziggs W anyways. So let's just YOLO go in. But then I fail my engage, which is really, really bad. He flashed at least, so we take that. I'm like, okay, well, at least he flashed. Because that was a really bad engage by me. I should open with flash, I think. But it's fine. Just going like that. Killed him with my profane. And then I flashed forwards thinking maybe I can get my W up again to kill the um, Senna. But it was kind of like really, really ambitious. So I should have saved my flash. Uh, the Ziggs trolled there and I knew I could kill him because he literally just used flash like 10 seconds before I went in. But I should have opened with flash and ult, I think, if I wanted to go all in. And I probably should just ult the Senna, to be honest. Um, although it doesn't really matter too much. Uh, just ult one of them, flash ult one of them, and then just chase them down with W. Uh, probably be much better than what I did. But then again, it's probably better to not like waste flash in the first place. Because I'm fed, and when you're fed, your flash is worth quite a lot. Right here, I take the tower... Although, if I didn't have 6 grubs, I might have just recalled instead, because that would have been, um, like, a fine thing to do. But knowing I have 6 grubs, I could take the tower fast, and then just base. You know, it kind of is better, because I have my tier 1 tower still. So, if I crash the wave all the way into their tier 2 tower, then it's a better bounce than if I just crash it into their tier 1. So, I base and I TP, which is a really bad TP, because then I realize, um, oh... There's nothing for me to get. <laughs> They're like, okay, well, I should be bot lane. Anyways, right here, we try and catch Yi in the jungle, and I kind of mess it up. So I combo him, which is fine, but then I ult really, really early. And if I waited a bunch, it would have been better because uh, Zerath was still walking towards the bush. So that's just a small mistake by me. I should just WQE and then wait and wait for Yi's reaction because he ulted straight away. He could have just taken his ult for free and then ran away. Um, probably would be better than what I did because now I have no ult as well but then we just walk bot and kill Yasuo for the 100 gold <laughs> he's feeling out of his mind which is completely fine such is life so right here my team goes for herald which is fine I should either go th to the herald or I should go bot lane instead I get some funny ideas so I just walk up to the six thinking it's time for me to shine and I kill him straight away I'm like yeah it's gonna be a 1v9 play and then I die so yeah <laughs> but it's fine um we kill the Ziggs, I'm only a 150 gold shutdown, we get the Herald, life is great. Sadly, they end up getting the Dragon off the back of that, um, which is pretty annoying. And I just run in, hoping that I can get a kill. I kind of ult the wrong person, I think. Let's go on the Riven. I also W'd into the Ziggs ult, which is not good. I ult the Riven, but I probably should have ulted the um, Yi. If, I, like, if the Riven doesn't flash there, I should always ult Yi, or if she doesn't have flash. Somehow I kill Riven as well, but still I don't think I should have ulted her. And now I see Yasuo is trolling, just uh, rage splitting at this point. TP to the ward, which is about to die. It died as I was TPing, so it's pretty lucky timing. I woke up, I'm like, well, I'm going to get the wave first. And then I realize he's just going to go for the tower. So bam, 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 we kill him and the tower is 1 HP. Plus he's really tilted. Big mental advantage. And now we're like around the enemy base. I ended up wasting a lot of... HP and energy on taking Gromp and Blue. So I shouldn't really ult this guy, even though I do it. Let W a way to get away from his Q. But then I'm just thinking, well, this was so bad. Luckily, he just walks in to my team and dies instead of walking away. 
but that was a really bad ult. So now I need to play even more patiently. Ziggs to walk up and then I kill him. I flashed into my Q, which is kind of lucky. I buy a bunch of items and recall because Yasuo is rage splitting top. And I don't have ult, so I'm waiting for that. I'm also cognizant of the minions right here. I'm thinking about how to get the cannon and kill the Yasuo and get most of the minions as well. So I WQ onto the cannon and then I ult onto Yasuo and I make sure he's dead. And then I go back in or back to my shadow to get one of the CS. So uh, yeah, I'm just so efficient. What can I say? I even help my jungler on the, the camp. Good God. I'm such a team player. My team is taking Baron and I went for the bot side camps because I wanted blue buff and I'm greedy plus I'm a troll. But anyways, we see Yi come mid, he uses Q, so I WW and then I ult. And then I Q for the Q straight away, auto E, auto E again, get my W back, take my ult shadow and then W away. And flash the center ult at the end. Pretty lucky, pretty lucky, the Yi would obviously kill me there, that was uh, really close. And then I realized, oh well, Yasuo was bot, but I'm going to YOLO for this. I sweep as if that would help me if Yasuo would say I would die for sure. Um, about to die to the blue buff, I walk away. Make sure I use my W against the blue buff. I'm so I'm so good. And uh, <laughs> I just base and TP with the Baron. Um, I bought two tunnelers by accident. Everything's going wrong. I didn't press the undo button in time. I just killed the Yasuo. It's okay. And yeah, life is great. I push bot and then we see Yi. So I realize maybe we can try and kill him with Zoraf. And something about Yi I want to show you guys. So playing against Yi, the main thing is having patience. So we wait. Right here I just WQE. Even though he hit the stun, the Zerath hit stun, I wait and I get a Q and then I take the W and I ult onto him. Um, if I just go in with my W, like he can auto Q or maybe even outplay me. So that's the very key thing to play against Yi or to keep in mind against Yi is if you play very patiently and don't take your Ws as much, it's going to be much, much easier and he won't just one shot you as they usually do. Now I'm in the enemy jungle. I see Yi right there, so I'm thinking maybe I should go for him. But then I see some easier prey, which is Yasuo in the bot lane. So we just go there instead. Miss the spells, which is fine. We E him to get our W back. Uh, two E's got our W back and we W'd again. So that was pretty broken. Um, and my team died mid, which is unfortunate. So we have to base and try to defend. Renekton's trying to push and go for this little weird base race. So I'm like, okay, well, just commit to it, I guess. Because uh, I could probably defend. Um, but then I end up misplaying. I'll just show you guys what happens when you're not patient. So I just walk up. I use my WQ. I don't even wait for them to push under the tower, I think. I just ult onto the ribbon, take the W, all that stuff. I miss Qs, but I mean, I misplayed really hard uh, by letting Yi Q me and getting range to Q me. But in the first place, I shouldn't be fighting so early. I should be, you know, playing patiently. I just re rewind it. The better way to play. It's just you do that W, that's fine. I E and then I Q and the wave is gone. And I just don't fight. I can run to the blue buff and maybe fight E in the blue instead. Or just, I don't know, do something different where I don't die, basically. And yeah, I mean, we kill them and defend, but it's not the best. Now we're sieging and trying to end. Um, so I play it patiently, a W E. And then I Q and I wait. Well, I don't think I Q'd even. But then I waited and then I W'd in, e the Riven, auto attack the Riven as well. And then I ult because I know that my W will be up again, which it was. And then I use my W again to go behind everyone and try and AoE. Um, yeah, this game is pretty much over because we kill Yi and then he's like the only threat. Yasuo is just dashing around, kill him as well. He's like 1 in 18. But yeah, <laughs> thanks for watching this uh, video, guys. Uh, it's a bit of a long one. I hope it was useful and all that good stuff. And yeah, peace. In